Right everyone, apologies in advance if I'm uh, looking a bit rough. It's been a, a fairly long day today, so uh, yeah, come home from work, um, trying to calm the nerves and talk a bit of boxing. Um, I'm drinking a pint called First Call by Badger. Um, recommend it to anyone of uh, alcoholic disposition or otherwise. But yeah, we're, we're coming on to talk about... Um, the show this weekend, uh, which is involving the two main heavyweight fights, Anthony Joshua versus Gary Cornis, Dillian White versus Brian Minto. There's one or two other fights on the card as well. Tommy Martin, Ricky Boylan. Um, I think Ricky Boylan's fighting Danny Cassius Connor. Um, maybe I'll go into those ones near at a time, but for the purposes of these videos tonight, we're going to talk the two main events. So I'm going to start with Anthony Joshua versus Gary Cornish. Now, uh, this particular fight, you know, I, I did a video with my brother earlier on in the week, and I asked, um, I said to him the following question, we got a guy here in Gary Cornish. Gary Cornish is six foot nine tall. He weighs in at 18 stone. This is a guy who has never been defeated. Unlike Anthony Joshua, Gary Cornish won every am amateur fight he was ever in. Gary Cornish has won every professional fight he's ever been in. This is a guy who has never tasted defeat. This is a guy who presumably has you know, ambitions of his own. He's had more pro fights than Joshua and he's got a 100% win ratio. Are we foolish to rule out the six foot nine undefeated heavyweight who's undefeated in the pros and undefeated in the amateurs? In this particular instance, my answer is no, we're not being foolish. And I am ruling Gary Cornish out. I really am. Um, I've watched a bit of Cornish. I've actually followed him from quite early days. I mean, I did a video on Gary Cornish back when I had, you know, 15 subscribers. Uh, call something like Gary Cornis, is this a prospect to follow? Um, you know, but having followed his career and having looked out for footage of him on YouTube, both of his, you know, fights that he's been involved in as well as sparring sessions, put simply, this guy is a long way behind Anthony Joshua. He doesn't have the tools to beat Anthony Joshua. Um, you know, the best, despite the fact he's had more fights than AJ, the best opponent he's actually beaten Certainly the most recognisable opponent is Larry Olabamawo. And I think it was very telling that he didn't stop Larry Olabamawo. I mean, if you look at Larry's record, he's become a journeyman type now. I mean, he's lost 10 on the bounce. And if you look at the level of opponents who've actually been stopping Larry, you know, it doesn't take uh, an Anthony Joshua or a Dillian White style prospect to KO him. But what's quite telling is Olabamawo actually went eight rounds with Gary Cornish. Uh, Gary Cornish wasn't able to end the night early. You know, if Larry Olabamawo can go the distance with you, then a guy like Anthony Joshua, who, let's face it, is on a different planet of ability to Larry Olabamawo, is certainly going to go the distance with you, unless he stops you first. Which brings me on ni nicely to my next point, which is that not only does Gary Cornish lack the power and the sort of uh, offensive skill to take opponents out, but my eyes, he's also defensively frail and he's got a chin issue. Um, you know, he's been dropped before in the pros. I, I remember watching a fight, and this is a long time ago now. This is this is two or three years back. But where he got dropped in a pro fight uh, by a guy whose name I cannot recollect. And, you know, the guy was a, a, a journeyman from Europe who uh, really didn't have much of a record. Uh, you know, sparring rumours are one thing. We can't take sparring rumours as facts, but I'm sure everyone's seen or heard rumours that Gary Cornish certainly doesn't have the best chin out there. And for me, the way Anthony Joshua has been operating recently and the momentum he has, Gary Cornish is simply going to be unable to live with him. If you're six foot nine and if you fight like Gary Cornish, you're going to try and keep this fight behind a jab. You're going to try and be the big man against Anthony Joshua. You're going to try and use your jab to stay out of range and not engage on him. But for me, the Gary Cornish jab is simply going to be too weak. I think that uh, Anthony Joshua will walk through his jab. 
I think Anthony Joshua will close down the reins. And I anticipate that within the first round, we're going to see that classic Anthony Joshua moment. We're going to see Gary Cornices back against the ropes. We're going to see the distance closed. And we're going to see Joshua teeing off with the long one-two from Reigns. And I think if that happens, which I think it will, Gary Cornice is simply unprepared to deal with Joshua. He hasn't had the professional experience. He hasn't had the amateur experience to tie Joshua up and mess him up on the inside. He's not that kind of fighter. He's not defensively slick. He's not going to be riding punches. He's not going to be you know, able to, to block punches. His movement isn't good enough to stop him from being narrowed down. This is just my thoughts. And I honestly think this fight is a first-round knockout for Anthony Joshua. I mean, don't get me wrong. If it goes two rounds, if it goes three rounds, I'm not amazed. But if I was a betting man, if you put a gun to my head, I'd pick Anthony Joshua to win this fight by first-round knockout. Um, I actually view Gary Cornice as a easier fight than Kevin Johnson. You know, let's face it, Cornice has got an unbeaten record, but so would most heavyweights if they fought a level of opposition that Cornice has. I mean, let me give you an example. Kevin, well, you know, we've used Kevin Johnson slash run with it. Kevin Johnson would certainly be an undefeated heavyweight if he just fought the opposition that Gary Cornice had. Uh, you know, uh, for me, despite the fact he's a massive guy, despite the fact that he's undefeated, he just doesn't have the tools to beat Joshua or the experience. And it's a combination of the two. Joshua's got the experience at an amateur level. And in the pros, you know, he's had solid learning fights. He's had the Kevin Johnsons of this world. He's experienced different things. You know, he's experienced the, the journeyman, you know, the, the sort of old school British fighters, the Sprots, the Skeltons, uh, you know. So for me, Joshua's more well-rounded. Joshua's more athletic. Joshua's more powerful. The momentum's with Joshua and the timing's with Joshua. Um, and of course, the powers with Joshua. You know, Joshua's got the power to take Cornice out, and I don't think it. Cornice has the power to take Joshua out. Um, so realistically, I don't see this as a difficult fight for Anthony Joshua. Um, I see him going out there, walking through the jab, and I really do expect to see Cornice with the, his back against the ropes being pinned in by Joshua. And my prediction is, when you see that. When you're watching it on Saturday night, and when Cornice's back is against the ropes or he's in the corner, I predict the end comes within 20 seconds of that. Because I just don't think that he's got the defence or the chin to with all the movement, really, to withstand what Joshua's going to bring. And I think it's easy work for Anthony Joshua. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. As I say, I've just ruled out a six foot nine, 18 stone, undefeated pro, undefeated amateur as having no chance. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this preview, please give me the thumbs up. Um, I'm going to do a video straight after the fight. So um, please tune in. Please let me know your thoughts on that. And uh, we'll discuss in more detail. Thanks for watching.